Hey guys, it's Heather from Here She Grows and I'm doing one of my last minute things. I would have normally done this sooner, but I seem to be behind, pretty behind this year, but at least I'm getting to it before the snow falls today. So I wanna take you out and show you something that's happening, happened a while ago to my maple tree shortly after I planted and it was quite small. This has been in the ground for about 10 years, um, but I wanna show you the splits that happen on certain trees that have pretty tender bark when they're very young and they split, so it's sun scald. And had I wrapped this at the time when it was small, I would not have had this happen. But I'm going to be wrapping trees today because we've got snow coming. And we've got a lot of, well, the temperature fluctuations too. When it gets really warm on a, on a warm sunny day, all those, the bark heats up and gets really warm. And then we have those drastic temperature drops. And then it freezes so it can kill that tender tissue underneath the bark. So to eliminate that problem, hopefully um, prevent it from happening, I'm going to wrap trees and certain trees are more susceptible to it than others trees like maples beech trees so i'm going to go and wrap my um, japanese maple trees as well as that tricolor beech that i planted this past april um, they it's a little bit on the thicker side it's i think the rule is if it's under an inch in diameter then you want to um, wrap it but it's a little bit bigger but i'm going to wrap it anyway just to be safe because it's such a it's an expensive tree and i don't want the bark to be damaged so i'll show you what's going on with an older maple this is going to be this is about 10 years old um, but i'll flip this around and show you what's happening with it okay so this is an autumn blaze maple i put in about 10 years ago it was very small but you can see what's happening to what happened to the trunk here so maples are very susceptible to sun scald and like i said it's that that thaw and freeze combination that really does a number on uh, trees that have pretty tender bark when they're young. So you can see all the, the splits here and they do heal over. It just makes the trunk look, well, like it's been damaged, but that's, it's not unusual. I see it on, on many of the maple trees in our neighborhood. So you can see it, it's all the way around, but a lot of splits, but maples are pretty susceptible. So t these are the candidates for tree wrap today. So if you remember back in the spring, this is my Tamukayama Japanese maple. So I back up here and I'm going to wrap that. It's a little bigger than an inch in diameter, but um, maples are pretty tender at, at a young age, the bark is, and they're very susceptible to sun scald. I'm gonna wrap this guy. And then I'm also, I'll take you around the back again. This is another Japanese maple that I have here. This is a Jack Frost maple. Um, I also have some uh, chicken wire around it too because of the, the rabbits are ridiculous and they like to gnaw on these things. But I'm gonna wrap that one. And then I'm also going to wrap, hi Al. I'm going to wrap this um, vanilla strawberry tree hydrangea because they were really tunneling around this last, last winter. And so I'm gonna wrap this whole, hey Alley girl. I'm gonna wrap this whole tree all the way up. So I'll show you the material I'm using here too. Hi, Al. <laughs> so my first candidate for the tree wrap is my Tamukayama Japanese maple. And um, like I mentioned, certain trees are more susceptible to sun scald damage than others. Trees like be uh, maples and beeches. I really wanna be careful with the beech tree too. I wanna to give it every chance it can, I possibly can to uh, help this overwinter here. It can be kind of delicate and it's such an expensive tree. So I'm gonna wrap that as well, but I'm gonna start with this Tamukayama Japanese maple and uh, wrap it from the bottom up. And what this corrugated wrap is going to do, there's a couple different kinds you can buy. And I've used one that was felt more like a, a white fabric before and it had a lot more elasticity to it. This is just one I have on hand and it's more like a card, corrugated cardboard but it's got a little give to it, a little flexibility. Um, I'm just using it's kind of the year of making do with what you have and this is what I have left. So I've been wrapping my younger trees for the last couple years and it accomplishes two things for me. It helps to prevent the sun scald damage that happens and then it's also going to prevent the voles from zeroing in on my more delicate trees. Um, what voles like to do is burrow, burrow beneath the, the snow and find um, delicate tree trunks to gnaw on and you don't know what's happening until after the snow melts and then you're left with this tree that has a damaged trunk. So to eliminate that possibility I'm going to put this the tree wrap on and I'm going to wrap it from the bottom up. Um, wrapping it from the top down creates opportunity for the water to, to pool within the wrap and then you have issues with ice, you know, just 
securing to the trunk and damaging it. So by wrapping it from the bottom up, it encourages the, the moisture to flow, flow down and away from the trunk. So I'm gonna wrap them. It's a really fast process and um, hopefully eliminate some of the damage that can occur over the winter time that we don't know is happening until we come out in the spring and uh, we assess the damage. And uh, this is very inexpensive. It was just a couple bucks for a roll of it and you can buy it at big box stores. There's a couple different varieties, but um, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so we're just going to start from the bottom up. I'm going to move a little bit of this away, the mulch that I have here. Take some of that off. And then I'm going to start by wrapping it as close as I can, pretty tight. And you know, it can get away from me a little bit, and then it gets a little gnarly, but... Um, Okay, and then you're just gonna keep, you're gonna hold it in place and just keep wrapping from the bottom up. And you wanna, I usually take this up to the very first branches, the, um, the lowest branches on the tree actually, just to prevent, just in case the snow is high and we get, um, the voles wanna burrow that high up. Oops. Now I'm just going to secure it with a little duct tape. And that should hold for the winter. So now I'm going to wrap my tricolor beech. This went in in April and these are really expensive trees and this tree I've wanted for years. So I'm going to do everything I can to uh, help it through the winter. It's one of those trees that's also very susceptible to sun scald. And if the vole ventures out here, I want to make sure that the, the tree wrap will be a deterrent for, for that kind of damage as well. So I'm going to just wrap it from the bottom up. I'm just going to secure it with a little duct tape. So that was fast, it took me less than a minute to wrap this trunk and it's such an inexpensive and preventative measure to take um, to help your trees survive, or sensitive, delicate trees to survive the winter, whether it's from sun scald or uh, vole damage. So by doing this I'm helping to prevent voles and hopefully helping um, my more delicate trees through a tough winter season. So stay warm everybody and thanks for watching.